Okay, so at this moment in time, I just want to introduce you guys to a Python package called Tekinta. So what Tekinta is and what it does is, well, it just makes graphical user interfaces. So what is Tekinta? Essentially, oops, essentially Tekinta is used to make user interfaces or graphical user interfaces whatever you fancy calling them right so that's like uh, when you look at facebook for example it's got a certain uh, graphical representation and the users have to use it in a certain way any website has its own unique graphical interpretation etc etc so that's the interface like this has an interface we can interface with a new file with an open file here in spider all of this kind of stuff is an interface for the users to you know it provides functionality to the users essentially right now you're wondering how do you make one how do you make window well it's quite easy first of all you're going to need to pip install to kinta or you know just get the to Kinter package one way or another. So pause that video if you haven't done that and come back when you have. Now, if you have got to Kinter already, you just need to import or Tinter, Kinter or Hinter. I don't know how you pronounce it. So we'll say from to Kinter, import, and then star. And this star just means everything from this. So we're importing the whole of to Kinter. Okay. Now, you might be wondering, how do I make a window like this? So you see here, I've actually got a graphical window, right? How do I make one of these windows into Kindle? Well, it's very easy. We just make our variable, we'll call it window, and it's just called TK. That's it, quite simple. Oops, TK is defined, I just haven't run the import. There we are. And if we want, we can add to the window a title. So we'll say window dot title. Oops, dot title. And we just put inside of the title uh, function our string argument. So I'm going to say the title is first to Kinta, um window, I guess. All right. And then we're going to run this window. So in order to run or open a window in Tekinta, whatever variable name you've used uh, for your TK or you've saved your TK to, you want to run run main loop on that variable. So our variable is window. So we're going to put window dot main loop. And why this is called main loop is because it essentially starts a loop, an infinite loop that opens up the window. And the window doesn't close down until the user tells it to. Well, you'll see what I mean when I actually uh, make the window. All right. So here we go. Main loop. You can't see, but at the bottom where my spider and everything is, there's actually uh, a new window that's been opened. I'll just open it so you guys can see. So you can see here we've got this little window. This is a Kinter window. There's nothing in it. It just says TK. It should actually have a title. It should have the title first. To Kinter window, not sure why it doesn't, but whatever doesn't really matter massively. Just going to rerun all that. So it should have that as its window. There we are. There we go. I've rerun it. And you see there, it has its title first to Kinter window. We can maximize and minimize it. It opens it, you know, whatever size it is. If I open it up a little bit, you can see the title displayed at the top. But there's nothing in the actual window itself, right? So we've made a window, that's cool, but there's nothing in it. And just like any other window, you can minimize it, maximize it, and you can close it. Closing it just terminates this loop, essentially. So we exit main loop by terminating, uh, by cancelling this window, right? So I'm going to close this window up because we got our title, that's cool. And I've showed you how to make a window, but... It's not great, is it? It's looking pretty boring. I'd like to add maybe something here, something there. A couple of labels to it, right? 
So how do we add labels? Well, first of all, we need to make a label. We'll just say label for now. Or we'll say level one. And we'll say that it's equal to window because, oops, sorry, it's equal to label. And then we want to put window because we want to say where we're assigning our label to. And we're going to say the text for the label is equal to first label, right? And now in order to attach this label to our window, we actually have to put uh, label.pack. So we're going to say label one dot pack. And what this is, it just puts the label in absolutely anywhere it can, right? I'm actually going to comment out this main loop for now, just because we don't want uh, just this in our main loop. If we execute this main loop first, we won't actually have the label in the main loop. So we're going to have to execute this main loop here. So I'll say window dot main loop here. And let's run all that and you'll see how the label works, hopefully. Here's hoping it all goes right. Oh. There we are. So you see here, we've got our label. It's just been just been smacked straight into the center, right at the top. Basically, pack just puts a label in the first place it can be assigned to. And you can see that we've got our Takinta window uh, title, and we've got a label. Easy enough. So we'll terminate the main loop here. And I'm just going to comment out the main loop once again. And I've decided I don't actually want to uh, pack this label as such. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste all of this. So I'll copy that to here. Paste it. Copy and paste all this to here. And we're going to do it all over again. But I want to put the label somewhere more slightly, in fact. So I'm actually going to assign it to a different part of the screen. The way that you do this, by the way, is to add it to a grid. So the actual Takinta windows work on a grid system basis, whereby they work uh, by being assigned to rows and columns. So if I were to say, let's put it in the grid row zero, column zero, it will be in the first row and the first column. So Rows will go from 0 to whatever number you put them to. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And columns will be start from 0 and go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Right? If I run all of this together, hopefully, along with the window main loop, obviously, hopefully we'll see a window that actually has a label on it in a grid system, somewhere that we've decided to place it. So... Here we are, we've got our window, and we've got our first label, and you can see it's no longer in the middle of the screen. It's been planted in the first row and the first column. So rows go up and down, columns go side to side, first row and first column, right? Quite simple. Now you might look at this and think, well, a bit boring, I'd like to have a few more labels in this. Well, that's great, you can actually have several labels. So if I copy and paste this here, and let's add a label to. So we'll say label to is equal to label window, because we want to make it in the window itself. We're going to actually put some text, some real text, and we're going to say, my name is Yusuf. And we're going to add it to the grid. Okay, we're going to say label to dot grid. And we're going to say that we want it in row one and that we also want it in column one. So try try and figure out where it's going to go before we place it. Okay. We're also going to put a third label because we can have more than one. And we're going to say label three is equal to another label. And this label is going to be instantiated inside of window, which is the reference to our main window, our main TK. The text is going to be hello world because you've got I mean, insert a hello world in there we can and we're going to say that label3.grid 
row value is equal to two column value is also equal to two and then we're going to run all this and we'll just see what this gets us and you'll see how you can position uh, labels to get that right so if you look at this you can see that the first label is in row zero column zero so the first row and the first column my name is yusuf is in the row one and column one now they're not the first row so the second because array start at zero and python so we're actually in the second row and the second column and then here we've labeled three dot grid we put it to row two and column two which would be the third row and the third column you can see that there quite clearly right so you can see that you can add labels you can add titles to your main window and you can actually decide where exactly you place uh, your labels relative to each other however that's actually a little bit of a problem in Tukinta because they are relative to each other so let's say for example we have uh, the first label and we put it in row zero column zero and we put our second label in row seven and column seven and we only have two labels now you would expect that the second label would go all the way down to seven here and go seven columns along but it actually just finds the next part of the sequence that is further away so because it's not in one it's in more than one it just takes the next thing as being more than one and because it's more than one column wise or more than the first column column wise it doesn't say we'll go seven columns along it just says we'll go to the next column along uh, that's not defined that's more than one because we haven't defined column numbers that are lower and row numbers that are lower I'll, I'll show you what I mean but it is relative positioning unfortunately so copy and paste all of this and we're actually just going to get rid of the third label we don't need it and we're going to say row seven column seven and just try and just try and think of where it's going to appear just see if you've really understood the concept and you see it just appears in the next available row that's unoccupied so here and the next available column that's unoccupied so it's actually really just in row one and column seven this is because this row equals seven column equals seven these are the highest numbers that have been uh, assigned and because there are no lower numbers assigned other than zero Takinta just says well this is the next highest number and this is the only next highest number so we'll just place it there that's as far as we can place it if I make another label so if I get rid of all this for example and I make another free label shall we say just like before but I change from oh no we don't want that we want to cut copy and paste the old one so want free labels just ignore that just to reiterate the point just to really drive it home if I put these in row three and column three they'll still appear in row two and column two because they just row two and column two are just the highest numbers in existence and so the dot grid method just takes row three and column three to just mean row two and column three i.e the highest value column that's the next in the sequence and the highest value row that's the next in the sequence so the positioning isn't perfect with label there are probably ways to get around this but for now just understand that essentially you can make several labels uh, you can add a title and you can make a main window just by essentially assigning a variable uh, a tk variable to a variable now hope you enjoyed that uh, thanks for watching